Hello everybody, it's Donna here from Riverside Beads and I'm going to show you our beautiful Sparkle Spacer bracelet. This also doubles up rather lovely. It's a part of a set that's got a necklace and a pair of earrings in as well. So it's a fabulous collection with everything you need in it. But I want to show you how it works. You may have some Sparkle Spacers already in your stash that you can use for this and it looks beautiful in a variety of colours as well. We've got an assortment of beads um, that I will flick over now and just show you. Those of you that watch us regularly do excuse my voice. Um, well, finally had a cold catch up with me so uh, I've done very well, not had one for years. So uh, just got a very mild sore throat so I sound a little bit croaky so hopefully you can understand me all okay. Okie dokie, so what I've got here is a selection of beads and findings and um, a material called Tiger Tail which is a flexible beading wire. So this material is um, seven strands of very fine wire and then it's nylon coated. So you can see it gives it that flexibility but it's also incredibly strong. It's a wire, I'll just get that camera sorted. Um, it's a wire that I would use for, just bear with me, sorry. It's not, not doing what I want it to do, is it? <clears throat> Just bear with me there. That's what I wanted it to do. Hopefully you can see that a little better now. Okay. <clears throat> that gives me a bit more room. Fabulous. Um, so this is uh, something that we would string all sorts of pieces onto. So I'm going to show you a necklace in a moment done on exactly the same material. What we do is it can cut with the snippers or just regular scissors. comes on a little roll with a handy little um, bit that you put it in and you just snip it to cut it to size. You get about 10 metres on the roll and you get a whole roll within the kit if you decide to go for that. So it'll have everything you need in there. So we've got our tiger tail and we've got our collot fastenings. Now these are um, often referred to as a little clamshell. So if I can show you this a little closer on the camera. So it's a little clam oh, oh clamshell. Look at that, perfect. And um, with a little hole there. So you push the wire through there um, and then you pop a crimp bead, tiny little crimp bead inside of here. Um, oh, I don't seem to have any crimp beads today. What am I in my stash there? Mm. Okay, I'll do it without just to show you, but um, I'll, I'll explain the technique as well. So I'll just do it as a little tester piece just to give you an idea. So that you cut it with the snippers and you pop your through your collot fastening with a crimp bead inside of it and then you squash the crimp bead with flat nose pliers. So you pop the crimp bead on, squash it with flat nose pliers. Then you take the collot fastening up over the crimp and then you close that. Now you can either do it gently like that with your fingers and there'll be a crimp bead inside there and that will hold it on. Or if it needs a little bit of wiggling, you just do it with your flat nose pliers just to get that closed. And what that then does is creates this part of the fastening there. So that is, inside there is your crimp bead and then you've got your collot fastening on there. And then we'll add all of our fastenings on. I can show you that bit at the end as well. We take that and we thread our beads on. So what I'm going to do is show you a little cluster here. And this, in principle, is the starting point of both the bracelet and the necklace. Let me show you this. This one is the necklace, which is just the same sort of style of pattern, just repeated throughout. And it's the sparkle spacer clusters that really work the magic on this piece and that really make it unique. So let's start with one of them because that can become the centre point of our bracelet. If I just pop that there for you. Now to make the little cluster, you can do it as big or as small as you want. I'm going to start with a 10mm spacer in silver on the centre of my wire. Then I will have the 8mm rose golds either side of there 
and there, oh, nearly, there. So I'm going on either end of the wire there. And these are tiny little wheels that you'll see. I'll show you them spaced out in a moment so you can see it nice and clearly. And then I'll show you how they're closed together. That's a six millimeter. And I'll put the four on while on that side. So, so, so far we've gone 10 mil in the middle, eight millimeter in, uh, I call it a color pop. So we've gone rose gold for this beautiful project. Then we go six millimeter in silver, four millimeter in silver. So let me bring this up close. Now, if you do decide to go for this kit, it has got a, a nice picture of this in the kit that will show you how to add those on, which ones they are, and how they cluster up. So when they go together, you get that gorgeous sort of beaded bead look. It looks like a real intricate um, seed bead piece that's been wove together. So that is the sparkle spacer cluster. That is the key part of uh, making these beautiful spacer beads look fabulous. Then we go four millimeter bicone on it. I'll go each side just so you can get a feel for how the picture looks and how it will come out. There's no right or wrong with this piece. You can choose your design as you wish. So I'll go a, a six mil pearl and a four mil bicone on that side and I'll do the same on the other side and then I'll let you have a look at that in detail again. Six mil and four mil. Nearly. Now with tiger tail it's um it's a really strong material that will allow you to just to pick the beads up straight from the bead mat. So that's that one there. So this is how it all starts to form. Now this makes bracelets, necklaces, whatever piece you want. You can do little floating sections on, on necklaces. So you could do a little section like that and just sort of let them hang and have it, imagine that as a necklace, have it as a sort of centerpiece on a, a necklace which looks really cute as well. So if you do get the kit and you've got a few bits spare, that's a perfect way to use those on a floating necklace. I'm popping a six mil clear either side. And then I have used these sparkle spacers also make fabulous spacers just in between the beads. So I'm popping a four mil on either side there. So I'm going to use that as just a little silver spacer just to break up your design as you're going through. If I put a couple more on to show you this. I'm popping a, another six mil pearl on. So I think we're on a bit of a repeating pattern after this one anyway. So then you would repeat each of your little clusters up the side until you get it roughly to size. So you can see those look really cute as well, just as a silver space, so just to break up that design there. So you get a real nice sparkle from those gorgeous crystals. The sparkle spacers, the way they cluster up together, look beautiful and they make a real feature on your bracelet as well. So you would carry on with that design up either side until you end up with, we go to one I made earlier, this piece here. So that design would carry on repeating. until it's the right size. And this is the bracelet one. Now what I'm going to do for ease to not have to finish the whole bracelet, because it's a repeat on there. We've already done the collot fastening and I have done a separate video on YouTube of how to do fastenings. Um, so if you just want to focus on that part, do check out um, our Riverside Beach YouTube channel um, and that's on there. But this is the next part of adding fastenings. So this is a jump ring. Again, if it's the kit you're going for, you've got everything you need in there, including your jump rings. And then this is your clasp. So we've put the toggle clasps in this one, which is ever so cute. They're a little 10 millimeter toggle. Pop that jump ring through the toggle and then also through one end of your collot fastening. So that end, I've got my collot, my jump ring and my toggle clasp. And I nip that together and that is what that then looks like. So I've got my toggle, jump ring, collot fastening on there with my crimp bead inside, which was the, the bit we had to imagine I had a crimp bead inside of there at the beginning. But you can see that's one finished and that's what it does. It holds it on place there. So if I pull on that, that's not going to move because that crimp is nice and secure in there. And then covered beautifully to give it a real professional finish. The other end, we do collot, jump, and then the toggle part of this. But you could, of course, do just a, um, a jump ring and a, a lobster claw or a magnetic clasp, whatever takes your fancy. 
So that is that piece there. Um, the same design works exactly if you were making a, a necklace, so you can you can choose the length you want this project to be. So that's the same project with the same style of fastening on there. Now, if you're looking at the sparkle spacers and what they do, this is an incredibly cute pair of earrings made just with a tiny little cluster. So this one was um, a four mil, six mil, eight mil coloured, six mil and four mil. And then they cluster up, so I haven't got my 10 mil in there, and they make that lovely little, little spacer bead. And then that makes a beautiful earring. Of course, you've got plenty of bits in here as well, so it could just be you use a couple of pearls and crystals and make an earring or whatever takes your fancy. But again, we've got other videos that can help you with your basic techniques, such as your findings, how to turn um, head pin loops, how to make earrings and things as well. So I hope that showed you everything you need to make that beautiful project. Um, it is part, or this was originally part of our Riverside bead box. And we do still have some of those available. So I'll pop a link on the video so you can find Riverside bead box and pick one of these up. And we've got them on a bargain price of £20 at the moment, um, which is our, our members price just for this kit. Um, they're normally £25 if you buy it as a kit or £20 if you subscribe on a, a monthly basis as well. So I hope you found everything you need there today and uh, I'll pop back and look over any questions as well and do subscribe over to our YouTube channel and we'll be doing the weekly videos so you can see uh, lots of different jewellery making techniques as well.